Let's take a closer look at World Central Kitchen. The non-governmental organization was founded in 2010 after a major earthquake in Haiti. It provides meals to survivors of humanitarian crises, natural disasters and people fleeing conflict. The charity partners with local organizations to set up a network of food trucks and emergency kitchens to reach people in need. The group was involved in the first maritime delivery of humanitarian aid to Gaza from Cyprus in March. A second shipment is due to arrive this week. Let's now speak to Jan Egland, who is the Secretary General of the Norwegian Refugee Council. He's joining us on Al Jazeera from Oslo. Mr. Egland, thank you very much for your time. I guess I want to get your reaction first to this incident. I imagine you and your teams in Gaza must be extremely worried after the killing of these aid workers. Extremely worried and, and heartbroken uh, as we're mourning with our colleagues in World Central Kitchen, a, a wonderful organization. I saw their work myself when I was there in Gaza. We, we uh, exchanged tents for meals and now see with World Food uh, Central uh, World Kitchen. Uh, they, they are now part of a horrific statistics. There are more dead aid workers in Gaza than in other, any other conflict worldwide the last years. Uh, the Israeli war machine has now killed more aid workers, more nurses, more doctors, uh, targeted more ambulances, and killed more civilians, including children, than in other, any other conflict. We need a mm. ceasefire now, and we need a deconfliction system that a notification system that works. Yeah, well, talk to us a bit more about that notification system because uh, the World Kitchen Central says they, they communicated all their coordinates with the Israelis, uh, but they were still hit, the, the team was still hit. Talk to us about the conditions that your teams, uh, the Norwegian Refugee Council, are working under right now in Gaza. What sort of communication do you have with the Israelis? Well, in war zones, we always are in contact with the parties and we tell them transparently what we're doing, where we are working, how we're working and where we're going. Because this is called deconfliction, which is really the notification to the armed actors of, of movements and of presence for humanitarian workers. We're unarmed. We are there to provide uh, assistance. We're neutral, impartial and independent. Uh, now, World Central Kitchen ha had notified about this convoy. They have declared them themselves. They were working uh, in close coordination with uh, the IDF, the Israeli Defense Forces, when they took the two barges of with food from Cyprus to Gaza. You have to work with the IDF because they have uh, they have control o over the of the area, and mm -hmm. still they were targeted. Which means that this war mach machine doesn't have a functioning deconfliction system. And I've been in contact with the UN and with the fellow of, uh, large non-governmental organizations, saying that we we need to uh, ask Israel and the U.S to reboot the system, get something that functions yeah. in the absence of the ceasefire. The system, you say, is not working, Mr. Egland. And as you've said yourself, so many aid workers have been killed in Gaza. No one seems to be safe in Gaza. Do you think, perhaps, that these aid workers and others could have been deliberately targeted? Well, I, I, I still don't think Israel is trying to kill as many aid workers as possible, and, it's, and especially not with an organization ha that have worked c in close coordination with them on delivering food. I, I think in more complete lack of internal information and coordination, which is very serious when you are attacking a place with overwhelming uh, military superiority using thousands of, of bombs having all of these drones, like the ones that hit, well, hit, hit our colleagues, you, you need to have, 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 uh, have a working system where there is information flow and where there is restraint. There is no restraint here or no, no distinction between military and civilian targets. So what impacts do you see this um, K-9 
killing of these aid workers having on, on operations on the ground, on the aid operations, on Palestinians who depend desperately on, on, on this aid, and perhaps also on your operations, the Norwegian Refugee Council. Could, could you reconsider your operations on the ground as a result of this uh, uncertain security situation? It, it, it has an immediate effect on the operations in the north, where the famine is the worst. Uh, the, uh, the, the, this was, they, these, co these colleagues were returning from the north, going to Rafa, where we have our hub, where we have our central uh, operation from, uh, from NRC. We work from Rafa ourselves. I think it will, it, it will really paralyze operations in the north, where the needs are the greatest which means that Israel must come clean and the United States that is providing the arms to this with the new system that is working because its system as it is now is totally broken in terms of protecting uh, aid workers and without aid workers there will not be relief for the civilian population. Thank you very much Ms. Eglund for talking to us. Jan Eglund is the Secretary General of the Norwegian Refugee Council. Joining us from Oslo, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it.